Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one hexig equation challenge from Mathematical Olympiad. Equation is x square plus 4x cube minus 3x whole square equal to 1. I will solve this question in two different ways. First one using algebra and second method is using trigonometry. So let's get started with algebraic method where I will literally expand a minus b whole square. So I will be writing here x square plus a minus b whole square 16x power 6 plus 9x square minus 24x power 4 equal to 1. Take all the term to one side. So it will become 16x power 6 minus 24x power 4. Then I will be having 9 plus 1 10x square minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see this is one hexig equation where we are having a square power 4 and power 6 term. So better is to use substitution. Let x square is equal to t. So our equation will convert 16 t cube minus 24 t square plus 10 t minus 1 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will use synthetic division and rational root theorem. So for that we have to find out eligible factors of constant coefficient or constant term. So I will be writing here plus minus 1. Leading coefficients eligible factor would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8 and plus minus 16. So ultimately we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient for our eligible solutions. So let me put few values. So I will be putting first value would be plus 1 over plus 1. So is it one solution? So let us check 16 minus 24 plus 10 minus 1. No it is not. t equal to minus 1. So I will be writing here minus 16 minus 24 minus 10 minus 1. No it is not. Now let's take the ratio plus 1 divided by 2 so 1 by 2. So if I will put 1 by 2 then 16 times 1 by 8 minus 24 times 1 by 4 then 10 times 1 by 2 minus 1. Check this value. This value is 2 minus 6 plus 5 minus 1. So 7 minus 7. Yes, it is equal to 0. That means I will consider t equal to half base solution as it is making our equation 0. So I will consider now this cubic equation for SDM and t equal to half as base solution. Let us write. 16t cube minus 24t square then plus 10t minus 1 equal to 0 and t equal to half is our base solution. Now let us use synthetic division method. So I will write all the coefficients of cubic equation 16 minus 24 10 and minus 1. Now let us take the product with half. Leading term I will write as it is half times 16, 8 minus 16. Half times minus 16, minus 8, 2. Half times 2, 1. So here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation. So equation would be 16 times t square minus 16 t plus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So t equal to. But before that we should divide by 2 because this equation is divisible. So I will be writing here 8t square minus 8t plus 1 equal to 0 after dividing by 2. Now let's apply quadratic formula. Minus b so 8 plus minus under the root b square. So 64 minus 4ac, 4 times 8 is 32. 
divided by 2a so 16 now i'll be writing 8 plus minus square root 32 divided by 16 so 32 can be written as 16 times 2 so 8 plus minus 4 root 2 divided by 16 let's divide with four numerator denominator so i will write 2 plus minus root 2 by 4 and remember this is t so we have calculated so far one is t equal to half the base solution and the remaining two t values that is 2 plus minus root 2 over 4 and what was t t was our substitution x square so let us put so i will write t equal to x square equal to base solution and 2 it was 2 plus minus root 2 divided by 4 now let us take a square root both sides to find out x so x will be equal to plus minus 1 over square root 2 and plus minus square root 2 plus minus root 2 divided by 2 so this is our ultimate solution here are six solutions you can see now method number two using trigonometry so i will straight away consider substitution x is equal to cos theta as we all know the formula of cos 3 theta it is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta so you can see here once i will put x is equal to cos theta then it will become 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta so i will write here cos x equal to cosine theta or cos theta so our equation will become let me write once x square plus 4x cube minus 3x whole square equal to 1 let's put so i will be writing here cos square theta plus this i will write cos square 3 theta equal to 1 and limitation on theta would be it is lying in the interval 0 to pi in first and second quadrant now i will use the trigonometric identity cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 this identity we know from here i can write cos square theta it would be equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 okay now let's put this cos square theta value in our equation which is cos square theta plus cos square 3 theta equal to 1 so i will write cos square theta plus cos square 3 theta equal to 1 and we know the identity it is cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta theta divided by 2 so i will write here 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 plus 1 plus cos 6 theta divided by 2 equal to 1 so once you will take lcm 1 half and half so we will cancel the rhs 1 so cos 2 theta plus cos 6 theta equal to 0 now i will use cd formula cos c plus cos d let me write here cos c plus cos d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 so using this identity i will write cos 2 theta plus cos 6 theta it would be 2 cos c plus d so 8 theta by 2 and cos c minus d so i will write minus 4 theta by 2 but cos of minus theta equal to cos theta 
so we can write right hand side is zero so i can write cos 4 theta and this value will be cos 2 theta equal to zero so this is our ultimate equation now we have to apply the general solution formulas cos 4 theta equal to zero let us apply so i will consider either cos 2 theta will be zero or cos 4 theta will be zero now the turn of general solution so for cos 2 theta i will write 2 theta will be equal to 2k pi plus minus pi by 2 cos 90 is 0 so i will write here divide this equation by 2 first so theta is equal to k pi plus minus pi by 4 now we have to put k equal to 0 and remember theta lies in the interval 0 to pi k equal to 0 so i will be having two values theta equal to pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 but negative we won't accept as theta lies in the interval 0 to pi so pi by 4 now second value for k equal to 1 theta if you will put k equal to 1 then pi plus pi by 4 that would be 5 pi over 4 that won't be accepted so what value we will accept that is pi minus pi by 4 so this value will be 3 pi by 4 and after this if you will check it will give you the same solution or solution after this domain or after this interval so ultimately we are having theta equal to pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4 let's check the value what was theta theta was our substitution we considered x is equal to cos theta so x value will be equal to cos theta so we will write here cos pi by 4 and cos 3 pi by 4 so cos pi by 4 it is 1 by root 2 and cos 3 by 4 it is minus 1 over root 2 so two solutions are clear now come to the second equation cos 4 theta equal to 0 let us find out general solution so i will be writing 4 theta equal to 2k pi plus minus pi by 2 right hand side is 0 divide this equation by 4 so theta is equal to k pi by 2 plus minus pi by 8 now we have to put k equal to 0 1 2 and we have to check the values positive and in the interval 0 to pi so let us put k equal to 0 so i will write theta is equal to plus minus pi by 8 so positive plus pi by 8 is confirmed now let us consider k equal to 1 so i will write theta is equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 8 so 5 pi by 8 and if you will write pi by 2 minus pi by 8 then it will be 4 pi minus pi so 3 pi by 8 now let us put k equal to 2 so from here you will have theta is equal to 7 pi by 8. So accepted solutions in this category in this case theta is equal to pi by 8, 3 pi by 8, 5 pi by 8 and 7 pi by 8. So x values we will write cos pi by 8. Let me write here. So x values it would be cos pi by 8 cos 3 pi by 8 cos 5 pi by 8 and last value would be cos 7 pi by 8 and if you will check all the four values then that value is plus minus root of 2 plus minus root 2 it is matching with the same solution which we calculated earlier so four solutions are here and the remaining two that is plus minus one by root two that's it i hope friends you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself